साइकोलॉजिकल प्रेशर साइकोलॉजिकलोज and something like that so this happens whenever you're playing against a pro team you know that their players can eat you up if you give them the chance so they come yeah to but at the end of the day you have to remember those are just names and even though names do carry a lot of weight You should make sure that it's the skills that dictates how good you play. But it seems like our game is finally starting now, my bro. Okay, so any guesses for the band? Uh, you know, I was saying here probably a carry band again, or if not a carry band, we're gonna be seeing a rock tank band, okay, or like there we go. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe Darwin's game was watching the F3 Rising game a while ago. Okay, yes. And I think that the tradition is still going on in the MRL, as far as I know. That whenever the last match, who whatsoever hero has dominated the last match, is going to be banned in the next match. This tradition is going on currently in the MRL. <laughs> so yes, we can see a ca- carry ban or maybe something. Yes, there comes the carry ban. Mm-hmm. As I told you, carry ban is going to be happening a lot of times now because. She's kind of one of those marksmen that is kind of hard to kill when it comes to mid game and late game because she can build her tanky, which is kind of be annoying. So it seems like Claude is now going to be banned here from a side of Darwin's game. So Darwin's game one don't want wish to play Claude now. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Last time wish carried hyper carried Darwin's game. With the clouds, but now I think they I they are thinking something else. Maybe would be would be able to see Hayabusa. We don't know yet. Nah, no Hayabusa for now. I feel. I well, it's just my prediction, but I think that okay. There comes the tradition again. Kimi is banned. Uh huh. Yeah, most of the marksmen are now banned here. The only one open is looking like the. The Bruno, Bruno, especially the Ranger. Popol and Koopa, is not allowed. Yes, Popol and Koopa is not allowed because of its broken Your team issues. Is and uh, there's Granger, there's Bruno. So I think there. I mean, if there, if any, then there should be Bruno or Granger itself. So there comes the Diggy. Darwin's game is going defensive this time. They have said that prevention is better than cure, so better take Diggy on our side, so that if any CC comes in our way, we will be able to counter it. That's true. I agree in that one in some way, but at the same time, there's not really a lot of CC available on the table anymore. But I think it's your Granger and the export. Interesting picks here coming from Demon Slayers. Link. Oh, it's gonna be a Lang and probably the G Rock here. Kufra. Oh, they're gonna go for the Kufra, taking out one of the heroes that counters out the Lang right now. So I mean, for me, for now, I feel like the pick here should not be the high loss. I mean, it's an okay counter for the Ling. It's good against the Diggy also, but I feel like there are other tanks that are much, much better for now. Can you hear me? Yeah, but for now, I feel like the dance should be here. We're looking like a, probably a mage band, like Sylvina. It seems like it. Hmm. 
I feel like for me personally, it should be a mage ban here. The mages that are very, very good against the Ling, like the Harif, Lunas can be banned out here also. Selena can be banned if they want to. Okay, there comes the Jawhead. I think the next ban should be Silvana, probably. Or Selena. Silvana or Selena. Nah, there's no more ban because Demon Slayer's. Okay. Lost the time for banning. Okay, okay, okay. I actually my net was, you know, for a bit. <laughs> I just saw this that there was no ban from the other side. Yes, my bro. Unfortunately. So Silvana is open. I think uh, IGN. Oh, sorry, DG would be picking Silvana. Esmeralda, your team As a fighter. is picking. That again comes Esmeralda. Yeah, this hero well, kind of I don't really agree, but she's very very good against Ling to be honest. Cause you know Esmeralda is tanky enough to survive a Ling burst once she presses that. If I'm not mistaken, that first skill she gains shield enough to survive a Ling burst damage. Okay, so there's something a skin show going on from Kyurem. Bruno. And there comes the new mod. Your team mm -hmm. is picking. So this game gonna be, we have to gonna see some great skins in the match as well as a great gameplay. So it's overall a good. Okay, there comes Silvana. As we were talking about it, there comes Silvana. Moscow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there also comes the skin show from the Demon Slayers as well. Yeah, hundred percent, my bro. But ah, uh, look at see here, Grok can be a better pick here. I I'm I'm okay with a Grok here. The only issue that I have with a draft here of Demon Slayers is they don't really have that big big counters for the side here of the Link. So the Link and Bali just ran around roses the team of Demon Slayers. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these teams are gonna be playing. Actually, D, uh, on paper, currently on paper, the DG roster is looking more of a sustain and uh, more much ac accompanied by counters as compared to Demon Slayer. So I think uh, okay, there comes the India number one link, as I said. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, this ranger is gonna die a lot of times. Especially, he does not have flicker, but he has purify instead. But at the same time, there's a lot of tanky heroes coming from the side of Demon Slayers. So, like, just based on the draft, I like to draft here more of Demon Slayers, to be honest. Yes, and uh, oh, we can't underestimate Imaginer as well because last time when he was Granger, he just carried all his team on his shoulders, solo carry, hyper carried the t his team to victory. Welcome to mobile. Very, very true, my bro. But it seems like here we are now. The game is smash them. Actually, but last time the situation was that Rome wasn't enough. People were using the funnel strategy, the four Rom. So I don't think this gonna work this time. So yes, the both team have to go some out of box strategy this time to make sure that their damage dealers are on the top of the farm. Because Rome yeah, is now not that much useful. But as you can see here, both of the teams are just funneling probably all the resources to their heroes. I mean, I mean the marksmen are taking the red buff here, as we can see. But nothing, nothing, no invades coming from both teams. To be honest, I feel like there was an opportunity for the Croc there to kind of just check and you know annoy the rotation of Darwin's game there, but. They're just gonna be playing it safe. Yes, both teams are trying to play safe. They don't want to invade. 
Just they don't. They want to farm for at least two to three minutes and going ahead. And after level four, we can see some proper ganks from both the sides. Mm -hmm. You know, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised why this estimate Mertalda is playing so safe. She could kill that 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 Kufra. On the on the bot lane, DG is dominating already. They have. Uh, broken the firaga armor of eggbog and they are trying to push the lane they have already pushed successfully pushed the bot lane it's just 1 minutes and 30 seconds in the game and dg as usual they are showing their domination that's why they are being called as a top squad now nah, it's still okay because some of the european team players are going to be getting this lane also i mean leo more tried pure first going to go in here but unfortunately oh they're forcing it out but i feel like the steep yeah. i should go here for the esmeralda she should just not play safe because she has what it takes to kill everyone there i feel like scoopy is playing too passive so there comes a fair trade from both the teams one bot lane and one top lane so teams are now level up talking about the farm difference farm difference is almost same so the people are asking for pause dragon is asking for a pause Oh, so overall, the time for a pause there. So overall, I mm -hmm. think that yes, Demon Slayer is going with a four on one. One player is on the other side, four on the one side. They are trying to gank as much as possible, and both teams are focusing much on turrets. First, they uh, as we have seen on the top, as seen on the bot. For so they are all focusing on the turret. They first destroyed the turret on the, on the top, and then they try to gank people. They are not ganking people in the tower itself. They are destroying and then doing it. So that's the proper way of how to make the match go on their side, and as well as on the sure. as well as for the demon slayers. Yes, they are doing very well. As what well, they've done on the top lane is awesome. So yes, mm -hmm. I mean for me, go on. Yes, yes, please. please. Like like for me, like I told you, I feel like the Esmeralda is playing a little too passive because if that was me, I, I like like I, I feel like I'll just play more aggressive because she has shield. The 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 heroes from the side here of Darwin's game needs farm. Ling needs farm. He doesn't deal as much damage as before, and in that team fight, Leomord was level three, so I feel like he, she could have gotten like two or three kills there if she played more. Like confident, I guess. Yes, aggressive, somewhat aggressive, but yes, to play aggressive, you have your team to give you backup, to give you follow up. And I think Esmeralda is sure that yes, her team is not in a position to back up her, so she's just doing a job as far as being safe. And after the farm, we could have seen an aggressive and proper gank from Demon Slayer side because yes, they have an early game roster as compared to DG, mm -hmm. who have a late game roster. I mean, Darwin's game there. It's kind of weird for me to see that they were engaging on there because it's a Kufra and a Ling, and the Ling has been nerfed really, really heavily right now. Oh, Kufra on top of the prime, but unfortunately, he might fall down here yes, by this Esmeralda. Oh, the the Digi Shield gave Esmeralda life. <laughs> it seems actually, like our you know, thing is gone. Actually, you know, it was just a matter of time that Grok would have been dead. You know, Grok and Hilo both would have been dead, but yes, Bruno bossed up somewhere with his eyes. So yes, that's good. Unfortunate down. here that uh, Ling is still unable to connect to the game, but hopefully he's gonna be back soon because otherwise his buff is gonna be gone. They're again asking for the pauses. Is something going on with them? Ling is not moving. No, we are not pausing. Yeah. This one is AFK. Okay, Tuya is AFK. And it seems like the game is being paused again. But as you can see here. Demon Slayers are taking advantage of the situation and go straight yes. here for the turtle. Yes, see, Demon Slayers are for utilizing this opportunity pretty well since they are struggling with the pings, they are struggling with the network maybe, and uh, Demon Slayers are using it very well and they are focusing on their farm. They don't care whatever the team is doing. So yes, so it's a good opportunity for Demon Slayers to defeat them as well.
But uh, to be honest, if, if if this decision isn't isn't arise, then also demons they have some uh, a good roster to defeat DG here. I should appreciate the draft pick as well. They have a good roster to defeat DG in the late game because they have only Bruno and uh, Ling to be a proper ADC. I don't think Leomond would be much of a use because there's Hilos, there's Croc and most of there's Esmeralda. So wh whoever comes here, Esmeralda is dead in the late game. Very, very true. Very, very true, my bro. So that's why I think uh, that yes, if demons players have found well, then if they are going to give hard time to DG. Yes, sir, I'm not saying that DG will lose. No, I'm not saying it. People are asking, no, please, DG can't lose. No, DG isn't losing. I'm just telling the current wave of the game is going towards demons players. That's what I'm convinced. And that's true, that's true. I mean, even though Darwin's game is on top of the league, they can't lose. It's possible. Yes, and they are losing possible. right now, like in this game, because they're behind 1,000 gold. And if the lane doesn't come anytime soon, they're going to be in a big, big trouble here. Okay, so here we are back with the game. And uh, Demon Slayers have utilized the opportunity, took the turtles, and now I think they're ready for a gank. Mm hmm. Request backup. All four and five people. They are just okay. roaming together. Of course, so because a... now they can take the objectives that they can because a lot of the heroes from the side here of Darwin's game, just like what we told last game, their their range really are kind of short in no way. And they don't really have very, very good wave clear, to be honest. Leo and Phantom Seed being committed here, but unfortunately not thing happening. Expert goes in here okay. in the middle lane. Bruno is now in trouble. But unfortunately he's gonna be escaping. Diggy might fall down here also. Actually, there was a good initiate by Xbox. No, Xbox did the right thing to put the ult to remove minions from the turret and that's why the mid lane has been saved and the high lows and ranger utilized the opportunity to took the bot lane as well so demon slayers are getting back into the game now and dg is still struggling with the coordination that's true that's true i mean it's kind of hard for them right now i mean expert goes in just to save this turret he's gonna be able to do so lane goes in now but unfortunately unable to kill this x boy he goes for the kufra instead okay i think an improper hero lock we have seen here xbox again escaping with the dot hp it's his second time xbox is so lucky in this game and on the other side, Ling was unlucky enough to not have killed anyone. So it was an unfair trade for them. Okay, I think Bruno is in trouble now. No, not yet for now, my dude. Turtle resurrecting soon. And talking about the farm difference, it's increasing. Okay, I think Ranger is in trouble. Okay, he's dead. Bruno is on the right mm -hmm. stage and Ranger is dead. But yes, the team is going ahead. They want to take revenge for the Granger, but I think Leomord is not letting them be. I think, yes, there was a nice ult again by Kufra. Mm-hmm. See, Esmeralda doing so much damage in the backline here. Bruno is like, thinking she's in trouble. See, I feel like if the Esmeralda does not kill, you know, I feel like she's uh, doubting her kill potential here. Because I yeah. feel like she could have killed the Bruno even though she was stunned by the Kufra. Oh, but Bruno doing so much damage. Thinking now he's here. He went in, but unfortunately, no follow up. Okay, so now DG is making a comeback in the game now. I think that Demon Slayers have lost them slack on some points and now they are paying for it. I think they left Bruno alone and that's what Bruno is doing. 4 0 0. Bruno isn't dead once so yes his farm is on the top with 5k farm bruno is leading the list yeah i feel like one of the main reasons here why i i feel like demon slayers is struggling a little bit is because i feel like they're not fully committing to the team fights because i feel like you know i feel like the esmeralda wants to go back the grok wants to go in together with the high loss so instead of securing the kills that they can secure instead they die like they lose the members 
yes so not everyone is uh, on the follow up and on the other side also but yes dg uh, somehow is because of kupra dg has more control just just because of kupra it only they have more control on the team fights and they can easily escape the cc as well because of dg dg okay mm-hmm. now the roster is going to pay up as i said they the team players have an early game roster but dg has the late game roster so this game is going now for the late game Like look at that. That was so weird because they they noticed that Export was being chased by the by the Link and the Bruno. I feel like they should engage in the Koopa here. Koopa on top now of the Esmeralda. Watch out, being used by the Croc. Esmeralda is in one by one. People are falling low, but it seems like they're gonna be falling back. Oh Fantasy being committed by Leomord here, but it's only gonna be the Croc that's gonna be the collateral damage. Man, that that critical of one K. Now it's around 2k. I just saw it. That Croc was down on one hit. What Bruno had done. That's true. So you know, just it? like that, the lead is now in favor of Darwin's game. Turtle resurrecting soon. Just two minutes soon. ago, it was Demon Slayer, and so now it's Darwin's game. Just because they left Bruno alone to farm. That's true. I mean, he's on seven thousand gold now. He's not been shut down yet. Six kills with Tony Hunter. That's gonna hurt. So this is gonna hurt real bad for Demon Slayer if they lost more turrets in other upcoming two minutes. Then it's gonna be difficult for them to come back. And I think mm-hmm. they're gonna be a gang. And they have been pushed themselves to. The inhibitors now, and Darwin's game is leading in the farm, and now they are pushing the turrets easily with the five of them alive on the both the sides. Still, Darwin's game is dominating. Demon Slayers are somehow looking frightened about that they don't want to lose, they don't want to feed. So yes, they are just being pushed back onto their bases by base by this Darwin's game. So what? And to be honest, I think this is an okay strategy. But at the same time, it's not gonna work for them in the long run because there's a lot of engagers coming inside here of Darwin's game. I mean, the link can just dive in the back line, attacking the. Just look the at the damage by Bruno. Just look mm-hmm. at the damage by Bruno. What he did to Esmeralda, she had to retreat back. She wasn't able to engage, able to engage him at any point. Mm-hmm. It seems like even though it was seeming like a disaster for Darwin's game, they're showing that we are back. We can get back to win, and we're gonna win anyway. Shut down. No, you know what happens when uh, the team is going inside the bases? It's like a defensive strategy, but overall, uh, what we are okay, triple kill, <laughs> triple kill for Granger, but Bruno came. No, there's no triple kill for you. And now, since you've killed three of my members, I will one shot you. And there was one shot, and Granger is dead now. So again, yeah. Esmeralda was with Bruno going on on the bot, and I think Bruno will win. Yes, Bruno is winning. Three shots, and Esmeralda is dead on the spot. That's so true. I feel like she should understand now, after that kill a while ago on the turret there and the middle lane, that she doesn't really have enough to tank the Bruno. She doesn't really have enough front line to tank the Bruno anyway. I mean, she kind of has with the Grog and the high loss. But when there's a mismatch of calls not following one another 100%, it's going to be very, very hard to get back in this game. And people in the chats are asking that go for draw demon slayers. Demon slayers have a good support in the chat, and they vote. They don't want the team to lose. But it's gonna be very hard because as you can see, Grok made another mistake here. Immortality has been power, but it's gonna be falling down. Actually, Grok tried to invade the Lord. He, he thought he would steal it, but it wasn't possible with his immortality. Also, he, he tried to survive, but you know, immortality is like okay, you go up again, we will make you down again. They are waiting. They are waiting to <laughs> make make that people again going up, and then it's down. So I think uh, this is the last gank of the match. What do you think? It's seeming like it is because Bruno is so so fat at this point. He is just annihilating the tanks. Those are not tanks anymore. Those are just chicken. No, not chicken, but like cheese. 
<laughs> like paper thin. I'm expecting a maniac of from Bruno. He's in a farm. Nah. Yeah, he's just too fed at this point. Like those tags are just keys. It's like one, one, one bouncing ball, right? Like one boom, it goes through. Yes, you you came in front of me. I feel that, and now you're dead. Mm hmm. Yeah, but that's a GG well played for both of our teams. That was a good game for our last game of tonight. I really enjoyed that, to be honest. Yes, as expected, it was a high voltage, but yes, DG were ex expecting some problem in the start. Temus was dominating, they even took one turtle.